Before we get into the video today, I just want to give a quick shout out to one of our sponsors, Gnostic TV. Gnostic TV is ancient wisdom reimagined. This is a Netflix for those who are spiritually curious and want a place to go where there is no censorship. I personally am doing a whole series on Gnostic TV called the Esoteric Explorer, where I am providing exclusive content to Gnostic. Gnostic TV is a host to all sorts of different content creators, many of whom are your old favorites. If you would like to check out Gnostic TV, there is a link down in the description box below. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Esoteric Atlanta. Of course, my name is Bryce. I am joined here with my friend Jay from Spiritually Raw and Gnostic TV. How are you doing today, Jay? Bryce, how are you? Could be better days. Got some news, huh? Yeah, we got some news. I want to address this really quickly before we get into the video at hand. My friend, my YouTube friend, Doug Kramer, who was also talking to Jay about putting some work up on Gnostic as well from the channel Days But Not Confused. He has been missing for a while, and there are reports now coming out that it's possible that he is no longer on this plane of existence anymore. That's all I can say for YouTube's algorithms. And I'm going to leave that right now. For now, I'm going to leave that as it is. It's shocking. I, I feel like I'm still processing that. Uh, Doug was such an incredible man. I am so lucky that I got a chance to do get to know him as a friend off camera as well. Um, but I'm going to wait to address the whole situation, probably with some other people who worked with Doug um, when we know more about what happened. Um, and we will let you guys know. We'll keep you up up to date. We just want to be respectful to Doug and to his family. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to address that really quickly. It's such a shame. He, I mean, rest in peace, my friend. If, if, that, if this is true, rest in peace. And we'll see you soon. We'll see you eventually. And um, yeah, so. Good way for the rest of us, right? Wait right for the rest of us, my friend. We're, we're yeah. coming. So yeah, eventually we're coming. We're coming. We're coming. <laughs> so, <laughs> make sure um, it looks nice. <laughs> yeah, make, it, make sure it looks nice. You know, right. so um, I, I, you know, one of the last um, conversations that I had with Jay, or not with Jay, with Doug, <laughs> with Doug, one of the last conversations I had with Doug, because of everything he had been through with leaving the Church of Scientology, leaving his movie career behind in Hollywood, going through the dark night of the soul, going through hell and back. He said to me, he was like, I finally understand what all these resurrection stories are about. They're about our soul and it's about us being reborn within our own soul. And that makes me kind of emotional because that, that says that he really was somebody that was truly working on himself and truly trying to help other people. And he did a lot, you guys, to help connect the dots and just such a tender hearted person. And so um, he will be missed by all of us. But, you know, as Jay and I both, I think we share the belief that it's never the end. It's never there's always we always transition. We always keep finding each other. So rest in peace, my friend. We will we will see you at some point on the other side. So anyway, all right, you guys. So we're going to talk today more about Gnostic TV specifically because I just want to take a chance to talk about how cool this platform is. So let's start at the very beginning, Jay. What gave you the idea, you and April, the idea to come up with Gnostic TV? So thank you. Again, it's always such an honor to be here in your world. Thanks, Bryce. So, you know, you know, with the show Spiritually, while we were doing, we just started interviewing so many people and like so many of these people just have so many of these amazing journeys. And really for us, it came down. What we've been able to learn is that it doesn't, there's, there, there's no one way. There is no necessarily right or wrong way. It's not for us to dis. Yeah, we may have, you know, we may joke about things like, well, that ain't going to happen or that ain't going to happen, whatever. But at the end of the day, look, whatever gets you through the night and we don't know who's watching or on the other side. So we felt like a calling and this started happening for years. It was really one of those things that um, it was like constantly being really in our face like hey you got to create these kind of scenarios. So what happened was probably about uh, three or four years ago is we said, okay, you know what? Let's get let's get content creators together and let's create a super channel. So we did a lot of these, right? And we did them on YouTube. And so, <laughs> well, then all that goes along with you, they were there was amazing. Like they were building up really fast, and then YouTube does what YouTube does, right? So 
then we took a couple of years be that be uh after that we're like you know we don't really want to rebuild all that because the concept of it was really good it was very well received the public liked it the content creators loved it because it really was about a collective consciousness so whatever was vibing with you at that any one given day you, you you know you'd be able to have access to right so whether it be you know uh, your spirituality whether it be your abundance whether it be your health and wellness whatever we were able to place that under so uh, for us it's always been about look you know there is mind body spirit and prosperity and it needs to be encompassed under one really to help people in today's world in today's way today's way that people function the way they think the way they want to operate i mean you know it's easier for them so and there's just a lot of messengers out there you know there's things that you know we can do that you know and there's things that you know we just don't it's just we don't even know how to process it but other people do it so well right so like there's plant medicine people on there bryce there's uh you know you've got some amazing fitness stuff coming up on there because that's so important to the evolution of 5d and i and and that's a big thing for us too it's like look you know you know that's something no judgment there but you got to get your fitness pretty good to elevate you yeah. know what i mean mind body spirit prosperity so for us it really was like look we we really should put this together um so we have and we created what was called gnostic tv ancient wisdoms reimagined and we did it in a way where it's like you know when people think about it we're like look it's 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 gnostic tv it's ancient wisdoms we still want to honor the wisdom of what brought us to this point but we also have to acknowledge we don't talk or speak like that they did 2000 years ago you know what i mean we don't think that same way we have a different way we have different energy we have different downloads everything's different so we have to we have to move on <laughs> so we polish so, it and refine it yeah polish it and refine it so there's messengers out there that are so amazing that are coming here with you know in, in crazy cool stuff and i think we need to like anything in life take what we want and throw the rest away so that's what it is it's reimagining the way that we should live you know it's it's these people are really teaching us how to live in this modern era that's what gnostic tv is about so you know it really is important to you know put this out there and i'm so excited i'm doing as you guys know i'm currently doing the esoteric explorer series which is kind of an offshoot of esoteric atlanta where i'm actually able to to go deeper though into deeper deep dives because we don't have censorship on um on gnostic tv but oh. I, I went to yeah there we go so i went to um i went to jay and i said you know i i said could i do another could we do esoteric explorer that's not going anywhere but we're also going to be doing the esoteric health and wellness and you're so right because i thought about that jay and so many things i've noticed on the internet the interwebs is that there are a lot of people out there with um yep there we go there are a lot of people out there that are selling spirituality without understanding spirituality and one of the things that I've done in my life, the two things I love the most are folklore and legends, as you can see from the Esoteric Explorer series. Um, but I also love spirituality. And one of the things that I'm the most proud of that I've accomplished is I'm the only female in the state of Georgia to hold a particular author authorization in Eastern philosophy. I've spent many years in India learning Sanskrit, going uh, before YouTube was even a forethought in my, in my mind. And you're right, Jay, one of the foundations of all these texts you know, the root word of exorcism is exercise. Mm -hmm. If you look back at all of our ancient ancestors, from the yogis of India to the Egyptians to the Druids, they all had exercise programs within their spiritual schools, within their mystery schools, within because the human body is what grounds you in this life. And so I see so many people, and I, I know people get mad at me when I say this, but I'm too, I'm far too educated. I know that might sound elitist, but I'm far too educated to be duped when it comes to even channelings, because I am not going to go to somebody who reads tarot cards or channels who does not take care of themselves. Because right. if they're not taking care of themselves, then they're not able to channel properly. And that is the foundation. And it doesn't mean that you have to be a you know, Olympic athlete. I've been doing this for 18 years. So don't compare your chapter 10, your chapter one to my chapter 10, right? Like, and we're going to, I'm going to create on this other series. So there's going to be the esoteric explorer series, which the deep dives, the crazy stories, and then the esoteric health and wellness. And so I've been kind of shooting it out with Jay, like trying to figure out how the series is going to look. And I think Jay, we're going to have like some classes where I'm going to actually talk about the ancient text and talk about the energetic body which you're right, our ancestors knew so much about the energetic body, 
but they didn't know much about the biology of the anatomy. Right, and now that right. we know both of those, we can see how they cross connect. And like your, your liver, for example, is anger. So if you have liver issues, there's an anger issue there that we've got and that the body's just communicating. And part of that is exercise. And so, you know, you go to, I always laugh, like the yoga you see in the United States, 99.9% .9 of the yoga you see in the United States isn't yoga. It's not. It's a stolen, ripped off yoga. You go do yoga in India, you're going to cry. You're going to get your ass whipped. You're going to you're going to be sweating like you've never sweat before. Those Indian teachers are way more intense than any personal trainer I've ever met in my whole entire life. But they but they're doing that for a reason. And there's knowledge there. And and so what we're going to do, and I actually was telling Jay before we started filming, I have um I have my leotard on under this because after we're done, I'm going to go film a level one, a beginner level movement and sculpting class. So we're going to have like beginner, intermediate. I'm going to have all these different exercise videos and classes, classes to teach you about the dosha system, how to set your diet up, understanding energy of food and, and understanding energy of body so that you have the ability to take your power back. Right. Knowledge is power and knowledge protects. And if you're sitting around waiting for one of these or waiting for somebody to come rescue you, then you have not figured out what this timeline is all about. Because this yeah. timeline is about you figuring out that you have all of that inside of you already. And so I'm super excited. And thank you for allowing me to, 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 to do two different series on. No, fact, it, it, it's a real privilege. And, and you know, I, it's like, even I can share, you know, with people from a personal experience. And this is, this is never about judgment at all, because I can tell you, like, you know, I, I can even look back at, you know, whatever, five years ago, whatever, three years ago, where I looked at my lifestyle and I was like, oh, just go and I think about what my lifestyle was then what it is now and if i look at it now it wasn't like i'm like oh man i'm like you know i would have never thought to do that but you make a choice in life and all i'll say this to you is that life is about choices no judgment just but if you're if you're at that place in your life where you do understand the principles of elevation and you do understand that you are the you are the spark you're the you're the, you know the, the the flash the universe whatever it is but you're it and you can control it um then part of that is going to be to, you know, clean your house. Right. right. So even myself, I mean, I can't even imagine this in a million lifetimes, but I've pretty much gone mostly plant-based vegetarian. I'm like, I, if you asked me a couple of years ago, I'd be like, what? You're, you're insane. Like I couldn't process that. But then you think about the importance, like how do you want to live life? And again, no judgment on anybody. Do your thing. I'm just simply saying is that, you know, these are the rules of engagement. You want to elevate, you want to get there, it's going to take, you know, work in it. And this doesn't necessarily mean, like you said, after being an Olympic athlete at all, it just means you start the process. You you start to take a look at the things and you all, anyone watching and, and kind of feeling like, oh man, I wonder if they're speaking to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know who you are and it's okay. And maybe that's how it all works out, right? But think about the simple things that you can do. I mean, we've done it. Um, we do things that always we don't feel like doing. But you know what, though? The importance of understanding this beautiful mystery that's out there, that's the real thing right there for us to really understand what's out there. To, to live in a place where it's like, well, let's wake up at 9 or 8 and go to work at 9. Let's come home at 5. Let's eat dinner and let's do it all over again versus let's look at everything every day, man, a, a new adventure. I, I mean, if you want to look at life like an adventure, it, it's the best drug in the world. It really is. If you can keep your house clean, you keep yourself clean and, and, and you know, you eat well, you physically move your body. It is so important to multidimensional access. It really is. It, it's 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 critical. I mean, you can think you like you said, you can think you 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 are downloading, but even if you're not if you're not mind body spirit complete, you may be downloading, but there it might be just your imagination, or, right? It might not even be. You don't even know. Then discernment needs to be challenged at that point in time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you have to check that part out. It's and that's getting in your body and there's nothing, right. you know, a lot of people misunderstand, especially in the West, we're so used to being comfortable that anytime there's any discomfort, people panic and think it's wrong. And that is one thing, my first trip to India that I really learned because you see people in India, like in the slums, they're not comfortable, but they're totally content and they're able to use that, that friction. And, you know, the thing too, Jay, is you are always, every human being is way stronger than they think they are. And right. something that's so magical about having an exercise program is it's so personal because all of a sudden,
we call it when we're in India, we call it the Mysore magic because all of a sudden after days or months or years of hard work and you start to notice changes and all of a sudden like if you're running i know you and april are runners like you might think i can only do three miles in one day all of a sudden you just ran four right right, right. you shock yourself and you get into that that me active meditation and the blood flow is so important to you guys like blood flow is your sacred dna we know yeah. we've learned a lot about the value of blood over these last few years. It's your sacred DNA. And so when you're exercising and sweating, what you're doing is you're flushing your own blood and nothing is going to heal you more than your own blood. So why wouldn't you take advantage of the fact that your, your heart is a valve and your lungs are pumping and you can actually control that to get even more of a flush through your system to move stale blood, to move, to get into a cardiovascular um intensity where you're breathing harder so you're removing stale stale air you have stale air call in your system that you're you know doing uh, shapes and movements that bring your torso upside down so that all your organs get to drain and rest you know flexibility of body is not necessarily super important but you know it is important flexibility of your organs and that comes okay. from exercise and so you know, that's why we see the, uh, I'm going to break down in, in one of the introduction videos, the classes, I'm going to break down the yoga sutras, what, what Patanjali has to say about nature and soul and God and how the nature needs to be put in a place of friction in order to find the soul and to find God. And, and it will just give you so much, I don't know about you, Jay, but after you've gone on a long run or you've done a, a workout, like 99% of my problems are usually gone after that. Like it's, it's, it's my meditation. It really is. I mean, if honestly, like when I want to, when I, I, when I need an answer to something, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I'm like, okay, let me, let me run it out. Let me get there. Yeah. So I run it and all of a sudden it's like, I get this complete crystal clear vision right. as I'm running, not so much of it, but I get so clear. It's like, I'm, it's all, it's almost like the, it's like the feeling of this is like, my channel is completely open is the way to say it right so i don't and then from there whatever comes through i'm able to interpret it process it properly and say that's it boom that's it boom that's it it's like you're moving you're moving things around you're just your channels opening i mean this stuff does it for you and for those of you who are intimidated about well look i'm 52 i feel like i'm in the best shape i've ever been in my life but let me tell you my workout regimen I work out of my house. What yeah, if, I, I literally go, I went to the, 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 st whatever these stores are. I can't remember, um, sporting goods store. And I just got some bands, like some regular bands. And that's all I use. And I use my own body weight and I do that at home. And then I go for a run. So don't feel like you have to go and get this crazy membership. If that's not on your wheelhouse, do I, I, I do it at home and just get yourself there and do it in with your own rhythm. Make, make a, have your gym membership be on YouTube. There's a lot out there. Trust me. <laughs> I, well, that's what I was going to say, Jay. Like I, if you join me through the health and wellness series on Gnostic TV, you are in the comfort of your own home. Right. So you don't have to worry about looking like an idiot. You don't have to worry about, I can't see you. So I'm going to tell you modifications. I'm going to give you options. I'm going to give you optional, like weights. If you want to use weights or not, because dancers, yogis yoga people we never use weights and we're toned because you're lifting your own body weight i'm going to film in my own home for you in my kitchen i'm going to film at our shala i'm going to film also at, in hotel rooms when we're traveling just to show you how it can be done and the more you learn the more you take that that the more autonomy you're going to have and so eventually you're going to be able to understand your own body and it's true it's 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 um you know, I was saying, Jay, off camera, like I've spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars living in India and studying in India and studying all these texts. And literally, what's what's the price for Gnostic a month, Jay? What's the total? What's the? Yeah, so like it's all it's eight dollars and eighty eight cents a month, which gives you access to everything, everything. all content creators. It really does. We wanted to make it so easy. Yeah everybody to access it really we did we're like look there's a lot of cool things out there we all need this we understand the fact that you know this is not woo woo her this is very pragmatic but as a collective we do feel like if we all do vibrate high the world is going to get better it's a very logical step there i mean people are happier the movement goes in that direction people are not you go in that direction you find your soul tribe you know and then and and we're getting a lot of the people like you and i just recently did a uh um a class that we did for training people on how to have their own show several of those are going to be having shows on because they just are such incredible messengers yes, right absolutely i'm so excited i've actually got a few of them coming on steve's already been on my channel but we've got a few coming on this week and yeah absolutely so like the eight eight dollars and 88 cents a month that is for me my private lessons here in atlanta i'm about i'm about 200 an hour 
So you're going to get me now, granted, I'm not at home with you. I'm not seeing your body. I'm not you're getting me on video, but that's way cheaper than 200 an hour. So, and I, and I want to be able to say, I, I agree with you, um, uh, Doug, that, that Doug, listen, Jay, I'm sorry. No, guys. I say hello to Doug. So I'm, oh my. <laughs> that's to do with us. I agree with you. If, if the world actually took their power back by controlling them, learning to respect their body, learning to feed their body. When you exercise, when you feel that burn and that discomfort, you're actually feeding your body at that moment. You're feeding the muscles, the blood flow that, that they need, even though it's not comfortable, even though it's sometimes painful, but it's what your body needs in order to flesh itself. And I love that you're talking about, because I also, and I'm going to talk about meditation. That's one class I'm going to do is meditation, because a lot of people have meditation very, very wrong, and it's causing derangement. What you're doing, Jay, when you when you run is a form of meditation. It's called active meditation. We use in Ashtanga, we call it the Tristana method. It's a tri method of breath, dristi, focal point, and asana. So if you are posture, if you take that into a run, the body running would then be the seat for meditation or the asana. The breath is obviously on a rhythm and you're focused. Why are you focused? Because in intense exercise, you have no choice but to be in your body. You can't be daydreaming about something because you're because what's happening in your body in that moment is so real and so it, it alerts your nervous system so you're in your body and that's what meditation is meditation is not daydreaming meditation is a one-pointed focus that's what yoga means a one-pointed focus that's why people do japa meditation where they have a mantra to keep the mind focused on one point and when the mind can be focused on one point then all of a sudden there's clarity that can come Right. And so that's it's not daydreaming. It's not using your imagination. That's not meditation. Right. And so I use active meditation as well. In fact, my teacher in India does not even want us doing seated meditation because it could lead to psychosis. He wants no us. In active, yeah. He wants us in active meditation. And I'm going to talk about that, the one of the classes. So in this series. I'm going to put the way I kind of see it in my head now, um, which is always subject to change because we always think it, it's going to be one way. We end up finding a better way, right? So the classes where I'm actually going to teach you about meditation, about the Ayurvedic diet system. So you start to understand food from a different perspective, the, the, the time of day Ayurvedic dosha system, all that kind of stuff. Those are going to be labeled as classes where you can sit down and like you're listening to a lecture at a university. You can take notes or replay it. That's the beauty of this platform is it's not going anywhere you can always go back and replay it and then you're going to have actual workout videos which are actually then taking that information you've learned in the classes and utilizing it in practice right um guruji uh used to say that it is 99 percent practice and one percent theory what he right. meant by that is it's so easy to sit around and talk about the theory it makes sense in theory but then when you actually have to practice it that's when the challenges start to really show themselves. And so we're going to focus on that as well as taking these lessons and then bringing you to your yoga mat or to your living room or, you know, to the hotel room you're, you're in at the moment and start to utilize that so that you can start to observe yourself in that moment and find your own obstacles. And obstacles are not bad. They're just puzzles. You came here to earth to experience obstacles. You know, that's why you came here. I, Jay, I often say, I know a lot of people get intimidated because of weight issues. Like they don't want to go to a yoga class or gym because they might be a little overweight. Well, as somebody who is an authorized, the only female authorized teacher in the state of Georgia, again, I'm going to reiterate that. Um, when I have a, a student that comes to me who is overweight, I don't see that person as fat. What I see from my level of understanding is that person is wounded. There is a wound, there is an obstacle that we need to now look at and lean into so it can be healed. So the body can come back into balance. It's same for people like I have the propensity to not eat. I have the propensity to go the opposite direction. And so I have to lean into in my own practice. I also struggle with anxiety. The two are connected. They're a Vata issue. So I have to lean into that in my own practice and investigate. Why do I do this? Why do I put off eating? Why do I? And then I start digging and I start finding. And once that is healed, it starts to release. And so I want people watching right now to understand any limitation that you think you have or any excuse you think you have not to do this. That is your gift. That is why you came to earth. That is that's what makes it interesting. We say in my classes all the time, pretty yoga is boring. Messy yoga. That's what's interesting. Yeah. That is what's interesting. You no, know, it's I think people when they start to realize that, you know, we're the more and more people can start to realize that, 
you know, this journey we're on is just so abstract. It's so crazy. I mean, out there for so many people and so many variations. And there's just, there is no judgment. There's an experience. We're just, again, sharing with, you know, we come with different topics. And like, I know we talked about prosperity and abundance, but really at the end of the day, mind, body, spirit, prosperity, they all have to work together for you to be in alignment. Um, you know, we're of the opinion, Bryce, that, uh, you know, we believe that, you know, we are the essence of this concept of God or goddess, if you will. There's nothing that's shown us any differently. So, you know what, whatever, that's how we're going to live then. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's 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 a healthier way to live because then you know that you take control of your life. You take control of the things. And if if and what and whatever that is, you know, whatever is, whatever is on the other side or another place, whatever, let that be seen to us then. There's just, you know, and and I think when you're in alignment like that, you know, then you don't start to freak out about, well, what's going to happen then? You know what I mean? I mean, I want you to, if you, if you all can just kind of process it, because I know um, this concept of death is such a wild, abstract, often scary thing for so many. And yet we all, we, all of us are going to experience it, right? Like a hundred percent of us will experience it. So now our decision has to be is, well, we know we're all getting that price, so how do we react to it right so like how do you react to it and how do you live for it so that's where you know if you want to have in, instead of being in anguish and basically if you if you if you get if you're freaking out about it it's like you you literally are dying like right now you know i think people like that are utilizing these principles bryce tell me what you think i believe they're starting the process of shifting it from where we're dying to we're living now we're living you know, yeah we're living yeah. now Jay, that's so funny you say that because I teach traditional yoga. So I teach Ashtanga, which is, like I said, it's extremely challenging and hard. And people often walk out of the class looking like Albert Einstein because they've been sweating so much. Their hair is sticking out, you know, and, and I will I will tell my students when they're in the heat of the moment in that challenging where their body's screaming and on fire. And I, I often say to them, this is you being alive. Yeah. Experience yeah. this feeling because this is your body alive. We spend so much time trying not to die that we forget to be alive right. right and that is so important it's so important to know yourself and to be in that moment and it is one of the biggest and i think you know jay i think in the western world specifically we see exercise as like a way to lose weight or a way to do this or a way to do that or look good in a bathing suit but there's so much it's, it's primarily spiritual and i will tell you guys what i tell my students all the time i don't like people to weigh i don't want you to weigh yourself i don't want you to I want you to take your Apple watch off so you can't see how many calories you've burned. I want you to bring yourself in the moment of what that energy feels like moving in the body and bring that awareness into what's happening, not the outcome of, of the work. The weight will come off. You know, of course, you're going to tone up. That's just science. But let's be in that experience and learn to love yourself and learn to love your body and learn to love the challenges and see how incredibly, amazingly strong you actually are. You know, the world has told you you're not, but I believe, I agree with you, Jay, we are. And that's the, the, what we're going to talk about in the yoga sutras, the Ishvara and the Purusha. Ishvara is God. That's a Sanskrit word. And then Purusha is the soul. And the only two things that connect are Ishvara and Purusha. The nature, the property is just the experience for the soul to remember that it's with Ishvara and that it is a fractal of God. And so we're going to use that in the exercise classes. And again, this is why you go through all out the ancient text, throughout the ancient text, whatever culture you're looking at, they were exercising and they yeah. weren't doing it to look good in a bathing suit, right? It was an initiation process. It was a part of an awakening of the, of the subtle body. You know, I was thinking the other day, I was like, you know, what is our, you know, people always think, well, I want to have my purpose. I want to know my purpose. What's my purpose? What's my purpose? I mean, to sum it up, we're all destined to be spiritual guides. If you want a profession, that should, that's our profession. But then to be a spiritual guide, i.e. show someone or show a group of people, whatever that is, uh, a way, a way forward, a way, a way out of the matrix, if you want to call it. Um, that's where you, that's where, you know, you want to look at your body. I mean, I used to laugh when people say, well, my body's a temple. I'd be like, whatever, one of those, you know what I mean? But not, you know, I'm one of those now. It's like, but they're right. It's like, yes. it's, it really is. And you have to treat your body, your mind, your, your, your soul. If you want it, if you don't want it, then that's fine. Then you've made that, then they make your choice. And because I honestly know people that are just the, the most beautiful people in the world, but they consciously decided that, you know what, this is our life and that's how we live. And, you know, 
we bless them along the way. It is what it is, right? So, but then there's people that do want to do this. And for those who are saying, yeah, you know what? Give me the rope, show me the way. This is the way, you know what I mean? It really is. It, there's just not a way. You 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 just can't. It's not just about because believe me, we we know what we both, I'm sure, know a lot of wealthy people who trade it all in if they had their health back. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. Huh. And um, and I will say too, because we follow the, the law of one, the Cassiopeians, they have said what you said, Jay, in the very beginning. You want to vibrate higher, you're gonna have to make sure that your body, your vase is able to hold that. And if yeah. it's not, it, it, you're not going to be able to get reach a certain point. It's funny you talk about vegetarian, Jay, is it because I've been a vegetarian since I was 14. So it's pretty easy for me. But, you know, in the um, in the missing books of the Bible, Yeshua always says that you will not reach the highest states of spirituality if you're still eating meat. Isn't that interesting? It's Take interesting. that for what it is. That's what he says in the missing books of the Bible. He's very clear on that. Yeah. And, and, and you know, for me as a, as a very... I just honestly, I just feel better. I yeah. really ultimately feel better, and 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 I and it's like it, it's been a, it's been a very natural evolution for me. Yeah. And I'm not saying yeah. I still don't, but I really have cut back considerably, right? So, but uh, it, it's it's it really is a natural evolution. But I know the cause and effect. Like if I want a connection, I know what I got to do. So like if I'm in the, I'll give you an example. If I know that I'm in the middle of something that I got to plan for, you know. Ooh, I'm definitely going vegetarian because I need that channel. You know yeah. what I mean? I need yeah. everything open. Uh -huh. I got I gotta have every all the all the lights on on the textbook so I can clearly see all the messages and everything. You know, yeah. you want to think like that. You want to you you want to start to think like that. If you I was talking to um Bryce, one of you, one of your followers, she called in today, um, you know, wanting to enroll in the class that the, the that we do. And um she just lives like, you know, she was just talking about manifestation and what it is. And, and I, and, and, and we all know this. And I was listening to her on the phone and she was just, she was just, she just was talking. I'm like, you know, I'm like, and how come you don't have your own show? And she's like, that's what I want. You know what I mean? It's like, we know people are wanting these things. So we're here to help those of you who, who are resonating. And we understand this. So here's what we understand for those watching is that we understand we're seeking our vibrational match. And so should you. And, you know, vibrational matches are different throughout different parts of the universe. But if you are a vibrational match to what we're saying, this is what we feel has been our way to show you a way to get connected at your source, to be one with the source, to be one with the universe, to know when the lights are on, to know when your messages are clear. Um, these are the answers we use. And, and there's evidence after evidence, right, Bryce, that she keeps oh, showing you know, we're on the right track on this one. I mean, even in the, as you're saying that and talking about, you know, there have been so many times where I've been literally sweating my ass off, shaking almost in tears on my yoga mat, basically just feeling like crap because I've gone through this hard practice. And in that moment, that's where God is present. Yeah. In that moment, that's where there's humility. In that moment, that's where there's vulnerability and there's honesty. And that is one thing I feel so freaking lucky and blessed that I've been able to spend as much time as I have in India to really understand the deeper world of, of what this is and how you know when you're able to really drop into that you you understand you can't then be manipulated by anyone else because you are you are in total control and you are the one that's driving that 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 car of your body and in your own learning and understanding and i feel so blessed to i mean i'm telling you guys like i think it's funny my teachers in india would make any personal trainer here in America cry because they, they don't use, you know, in the Western classes, the yoga teachers use like this yoga voice and read poetry. That doesn't happen in India. In India, they just yell at you, <laughs> you know, and they tell you to do it again. Um, and I'm just still so blessed. I've had that experience and it's such an honor. And I thank you, Jay, for being able to, to allowing me not to, just to, not only to do the deep dives of the weird, cool stuff I like, but also to be able to share this knowledge with other people, because I do feel because it's so rare to be able to do what I've done as a Westerner. I do feel like I have a responsibility to at least share with you guys enough of the foundation where you can then start to have more of an understanding of what this all means and yeah. more autonomy over your own life and your own body. And I will. So basically again, guys, I'm going to do all sorts of different workout classes. We're going to have beginner level. We're going to have cardio. We're going to have stretching. class. It's going to be, you get to pick every day. You can do a different, a different class. And it doesn't matter if you can complete it all in one day, or you can only do 10 minutes the first day. That's fine. That's, that's just step one. Right. And I'm going to show my, 
modifications for you. So if you have an issue, you, you know, you have a lot of issues going on and you need, I'll show you the modifications, right? So, so it's going to try to make that as accessible to everyone as humanly possible. And I'm really excited, Jay, to see where this goes. I'm hoping that as time goes, we'll add even more teachers and coaches in and have even more of a, of a presence um, for people so that they can um, really grow within themselves and really figure yeah. out how, how special they truly are. I think we'll all seek our vibrational match for real. I really do. I think we'll all find each other along this way. You know, again, there's people watching this show and and we'll continue to watch the show and and find this through other resources. And, you know, as always, you know, my numbers out there, I encourage people to reach. <laughs> I encourage people to reach out to me and, and let's talk through it. I mean, what is your idea? What do you think your gift is? Let's talk through it and let's see if there's a if there's a fit here, I mean, we're happy to help. We're we're looking for the same thing that you are. Listen and understand this. We understand we we're not taking any of this with us. Okay, we're just trying to live the best of what we got while we're here in this present moment. So we get that. So this is not an acute. This is not like you know uh, just anything other than that. It's like living in the moment, living in the present, because that's where you're going to find God, if you will. Absolutely. So, so if we so can Jay, tell everybody you your that. number again, if they want to reach out to you. Right. It's it's three two one. 216-8047. Hey, Bryce, if I may too, I want to, uh, while we're here, I want to uh, offer everybody some free eBooks. Absolutely. Absolutely. For that sure. They can get to us. I'm going to show you how to do this and I'll put a link in there, but essentially we have an Academy also, and the Academy is pretty cool. It's called the Attracting Everyone Academy. And literally it's designed for your daily principles. Okay. And what this is, is this is like three to five minute videos. And what you do is you start your day with this because when you start your day, it's so important that you set the intention. Like, so for example, you don't want to run out of bed angry. It's going to be hard to wind that down, right? Or level that out. You start your day with like, you know, things like this. And I'll give you an example of what they're going to see, Bryce. Um, but like uh, influencer magnetism manifest like a goddess becoming superhuman you know if you want to show the 5d economy the secrets to broadcasting riches all of this is in there the 12 universal laws but there's going to be a link that we're going to send uh, that'll be in the description where when you click on the link um you'll be able to join this really cool community called the 5d unity community and you'll also get to download for free the 12 universal laws decoded and also abundance alchemy okay That's so i'll give that yeah, yeah, I'll get that link out uh, over there so everybody can just uh, take advantage of that and just, just start it. You know what I mean? You, you know, you don't have to be great to start. You have to start to be great, right? Exactly, exactly. It's, it's yeah, for sure. Well, I'm going to also say, you guys, so if you are interested in the health and wellness series that I'm going to be doing on Gnostic TV and there are specific questions that you have that you want me to cover on Gnostic TV regarding diet, exercise, whatever, if you have an injury that you're concerned about, Put that question in the comments uh, comment section below. There is nothing I have not handled. And so I can help walk you through that to give you more confidence um, in your journey, your health and wellness journey. And once again, Jay, I'm just so grateful for, to you in April. You know, it's it's my boyfriend made a really good point. He said the thing about us putting all of our our stuff on YouTube is that you never know every day you wake up kind of holding your breath to see if your channel is still there. But when you have a platform like Gnostic, you know your work has there's a place where your work is going to be held safely and so i thank you and April, you and april for doing that for us and allowing us a place where we can safely put our work where it's not going to be messed with by the powers that be um and so you know it's it's truly a blessing and so you guys so let us know down in the comment section below anything you want me to talk about i have a bunch of classes already written out and a bunch of workouts already written out but something you specifically need help with when it comes to your body that you want to see on gnostic let me know in the comment section below and and yeah and i'll have all the links too for the media course for gnostic all that stuff up so so yeah you guys anything else you want to close out with today jay well, you know, God bless our brother that's taken his journey again, paved the way for us. And, uh, you know, that'd be cool if you do that. And, uh, you know, and, and just really everybody just enjoy this minute. Uh, just enjoy this minute. Give it everything you got. OK, like if you really want if you really want this, give it everything you got. Uh, like Bryce says, the links are in the description below. Check out the ebooks. I mean, just enjoy them. Just embrace it. Uh, take the steps of, you know, finding out, meeting a new version of yourself, meeting your new soul family. It's kind of a cool gig. It's pretty, it keeps things pretty exciting. It really does. Bryce, thanks as always. Okay. Really you, appreciate I can't it. wait to have you back. Tell April I said hello. All right, you guys. We'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye,